hey guys welcome back to my channel and we are going to be talking about lodging options i have my notes here grab some coffee grab some tea and we're just going to jump right into it you already know i'm not trying to do long videos for y'all i'm just trying to inform you guys so that you guys make informed decisions so you guys get motivated to travel or just do anything that i'm you know advocating about you feel me and so so anyways when considering your lodging options i like to start thinking about why am i traveling what's the reason of my travel now for me, I have three reasons too, and I'll be bringing up these three reasons very often, more than not, because I feel like this question of why travel really dictates a lot of decisions, like who you're traveling with or what are you going to do. So I think that's one of the questions that you should really ask yourself prior to any travel planning or just anything in general, is just kind of get yourself aligned and understand what's going to be the whole point and purpose of this travel. Um, but not everybody, idea of vacation is the same. And sometimes you find out the hard way when you're all together out in the field. And um, so are you traveling for educational reasons? Are you trying to learn stuff? Are you trying to do a lot of educational stuff? Museums, sightseeing, stuff like that. Are you traveling for adventure? You feel me? Maybe you're on a cruise and you're trying to do some zip lining. Maybe you're trying to do some jungle tours. All of that stuff. If you're going to be up and at them, you're going to be doing excursions and stuff, which start at the beginning of the day um for the most part are you gonna relax that's the third one are you traveling to relax so you at an all-inclusive resort and you just chilling drinking living your best life or you're on a cruise and you don't gotta be doing all this that on the third i mean there's not much to do but i'm not even gonna touch cruises right now but you're just gonna be chilling out in the pool deck you feel me why are you traveling for education to relax or for adventure feel me answer these questions then you can adjust accordingly you can adjust what type of hotel that you want if you're going for adventure or education for the most part you're only sleeping at the hotel you're literally just there just to sleep um if you're going to relax you're gonna want an all-inclusive resort you feel me you're gonna want an airbnb is not gonna provide that you're gonna want an all-inclusive resort so that you have all these options to just chill out at the resort um, you understand me? If you're trying to relax, if, if you don't care what you're doing, maybe an inside room cabin on a cruise is the best for you. You don't need to actually spend so much money on an ocean view. You're already going to be outside in the middle of the ocean. You feel me? So these are just things to keep in mind. And that's why I asked that question. I feel like that's a very pivotal question to ask. So I'm not, I'm not going to go into it. And moving on to my secret number four option. It's not a secret again, but... I just perhaps you'll never you would never consider it and this is obviously it can work all for education adventure and relaxing it could work with it but you know just hear me out on this one okay and it's called couch surfing okay you guys you guys i would not say it if i haven't done it so um here i have here it says is a service that connects members to a global community of travelers so it has events in over 200,000 cities um and couch surfing you basically request to stay in somebody's house couch room whatever they have to offer in exchange for nothing other than just kind of just nothing they, they don't expect anything i've done couch surfing several times while i was in europe and i will say that this was back in 2016 we're in 2020 i want to believe that the couch surfing community the travel community as a whole thrives a lot in europe um other places other than america i think the u.s market it's a little different and i would i don't know i wouldn't speak on it nor would i encourage anybody on it just knowing how america is in general um, and the travel community, I'm not very well versed in it here in America. However, out in Europe, out in other places, I know for a fact with safety concerns, you know, just use your common sense, okay? They'll sit here and be like, oh, Laura told me to do this, and you're doing some, some, and you're ignoring the red flags or something shady is going on, okay? It's using common sense. Um, and if you've never do it, it's just fun to know, fun to understand that it's an option. Um, and, 
one thing I can say though is you have to plan in advance. You will not it's it's not a guarantee it's not like Airbnb, which also it could take a little bit for you to be approved and, and, and purchase or book a house. This one is a little bit it's really extra as well. You do have to kind of ask in advance and they need to like approve to see if they want to host you or not or like you know you kind of just explain your situation like hey i'm laura i'm traveling with two other girls we're just gonna be here for two couple nights or whatever the case may be and see if it can work i have done couch surfing in i've done it in germany i've done it in corfu greece and i have done it in belgium um, and I'm not going to talk a lot about it because I could do a whole video on it. Um, with my experience with couch surfing, I have literally gone with all ends of the spectrum. Very good, very bad, and in between. Um, so I think couch surfing is a very fun option to kind of keep in mind. A very low budget option, literally, depending who you're with. Um, either if you're alone or you're with someone, I think it's a little easier if you're a female. I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It may be a little bit easier if you're a female or, um, you're accompanied by a female, but again, just understand like this is literally free. There's nothing in exchange here besides the hospitality and just the respect that is expected, um, from staying in somebody's house for free. Um, and it's just awesome a good way to get in with the locals as well as for help um tips tricks of whatever country you're in um and i just don't knock it till you try it or just don't knock it so quickly it, i like back in i can only imagine how it is now in 2020 because in 2016 it was it was awesome um so these are my lodging options that i feel like you should consider um and why or like in, in what occasion it, these lodging options work i feel like um you don't always have to be tied down to the hotel option you don't always have to be um you know airbnb -ing. there's other options there's other ways to stay somewhere depending on what you want to do where you're going or whatever the case may be um, just keep in mind like the reason why you're traveling um, and we'll chat some more soon Don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you want to see more of my videos learn more um, And I'm just here to help obviously I want to go through stuff not that I want to go through stuff But I go through stuff so that I can help and inform you um, So that you may make a much more informed decision and until next time